Uh, this is Dr. Lam, founder of drlam.com, and today we're going to talk about the question of why is vitamin C so important in adrenal fatigue syndrome recovery. First of all, let's understand what vitamin C does and what it is. Vitamin C was first discovered uh, in the early 1900s uh, by some really breakthrough scientists, and uh, it is found that the humans uh, cannot, take, uh, cannot make vitamin C. But vitamin C is essential not only as an antioxidant, but it is an essential component of collagen. The collagen benefits of vitamin C is so critical that if you don't have that, you develop a clinical disease called scurvy. Yet the amount of vitamin C that you need to prevent this terrible disease, which happened to sailors that cross the oceans without any fruits, is only about 75 milligrams per day. And that's why the recommended daily allowance for vitamin C is 75 milligrams. However, we have learned uh, through a lot of research over the last close to 100 years now that vitamin C's dosage and importance in the body is really far-reaching. Collagen building is one of them, and that obviously can prevent scurvy, as we talked about earlier, as well as prevention of cardiovascular disease. Because when you really have a cardiovascular event, such as a stroke or a thrombosis in the cardiovascular vessels, it really reflects uh, fissures in the inner part of the vascular wall, what we call the endothelium, that is the result of the lack of collagen. So when you rebuild a collagen with vitamin C, then the body's vascular system become more stable and therefore atherosclerosis incidence will go down. Vitamin C, along with proline and lysine, uh, the two amino acids that are critical in the formation of collagen, is really the building block of the blood vessels, as well as the skin structure, as well as organ frameworks in the body. They form what we call the scaffolding that sustain the body's organs. Well, how does this relate to adrenal fatigue? Now, in animal studies, we've shown that a person that's under stress or animal under stress, for example, they're being put on the treadmill, produce 20 times more vitamin C intrinsically. Why? It's because vitamin C is necessary as a building block of hormones, including cortisol. And cortisol is the main anti-stress hormone in the body. The human body, unfortunately, have all the substrates, but lack the enzymes to make vitamin C. So therefore, vitamin C has to be supplied externally. The proper vitamin C amount in time of stress is very high. It can be anywhere from 1,000 to 20,000 milligrams, for example, in order to overcome the stress-related demand. In fact, the highest concentration of vitamin C in the body is in the adrenal glands and for good reasons. So collagen benefits aside, vitamin C is a critical piece in adrenal fatigue because in adrenal fatigue, the body's adrenal glands are exhausted. Its ability to produce cortisol is deficient and suboptimal because the raw material necessary to make the cortisol, which includes vitamin C, pentathene, cholesterol, and other enzymes, are required. The more stressed a person is, the more vitamin C is necessary. And that is why it is critical to have the sufficient amount of vitamin C in order for the proper adrenal fatigue recovery. Having said that, it is also important to note that there are flip sides. In other words, too much vitamin C and too weak of a body may backfire. In other words, vitamin C is not universally good when you are in an advanced state. For reasons that we still don't quite understand, oftentimes vitamin C can be very stimulating for the body, and one has to be very careful. So, simply by loading up vitamin C is not a solution, even though it's an important substrate. One has to understand the body, to understand the stage of the adrenal exhaustion, the amount of requirement, and then give the proper vitamin C doses. And for some people, it can be even a small amount. The more is not necessarily better, but it is an important substrate to consider for sure, and the, your proper adrenal recovery I must factor this is in as part of the solution and part of the toolbox. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on this topic, head over to drlam.com 
where I have written over a thousand articles to help educate people. You can also call me at 626-571-1234 for more information on the adrenal fatigue and how to navigate it. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.